Hi, this is Johnny Farty Pants, and I'm going to be showing you how to use Google Hacks 1.6, which is an extremely useful, extremely small, and completely free application uh, for downloading all kinds of files from the internet uh, using Google to locate these files. The Google Hacks application is available from johnnyfartypants.com. Free stuff, software. Uh, page 5 and this is it here Google Hacks 1.6 uh, you can click on the image here to download the file from uploading.com or there's another link here to download the file from megaupload.com uh, it's a very small download it's only 1.3 megabytes and it should download very quickly and when you download the file you will have this Google Hacks 1.6 it's in a RAR archive, so you want to extract that, and then you'll have this folder here, Google Hacks 1.6. Inside the folder, uh, there's a license from the software creator explaining that it is open source, which means it can be distributed freely as long as you don't try to take credit for building the application. There's an installer version here if you want to install it, or there's a portable version and this is a version I'm going to be using and this is the icon for Google Hacks Portable just a single EXE file that will run from anywhere uh, including a flash drive on your computer or somebody else's computer let's give it a run uh, here's my firewall telling me that Google Hacks wishes to connect to the internet yes I'll allow that and this is the interface for Google Hacks. It's very, very user friendly. Uh, you just name the file that you would like to find, uh, the type of file you would like to find, and the exact file type that you would like to find. Uh, as you can see, music is already highlighted, and file types MP3 and WMA are already highlighted. Uh, I could also highlight OG if I really wanted to. Uh, if you click video, as you can see you've got different options here within video, uh, application, different file extensions here for applications and the way this works is once you've told Google Hacks exactly what it is that you're looking for and you click search, Google Hacks actually sends a command to your web browser to perform a very complicated search, uh, a very long and complicated search string that includes the information that you've filled in and your default web browser will perform this search using Google and give you a list of options. Uh, let's give this a run. Uh, music, MP3, WMA, let's see what we can find for Eminem. Okay, here we are. Results 1 to 10 of about 1,650 for Eminem. Uh, this is all the results. Uh, the results you really want to take an interest in is the ones that begin with this here. Index of forward slash. Okay, now let's just pick one of these results here from random. Uh, let's have a look at this one here. As you can see, there's lots and lots of MP3 files in here. Uh, if you click on any of them, there's 50 cent. And here's my web browser saying 50 cent in the club MP3. Do you want to save this or do I want to open it? Uh, cancel. No, I don't want to download it. As you can see, all of these results here uh, all contain MP3 files with uh, an Eminem track in it. Okay, let's just close that down for a minute. And um, we'll have a look for something else. Uh, let's have a look for a piece of software. Let's have a look for uh, Firefox. Firefox, application, uh, an EXE or a RAR. Okay.
And here we have lots of results here for Mozilla Firefox. Index of Firefox. Here we are here. Lots and lots of direct download links for Mozilla Firefox. But basically I, w I think you've, you've got the general idea. This is a very small application. Uh, it doesn't require to be installed. It will run from your computer even if you don't have administrator rights. Uh, it will run from a flash drive on somebody else's computer. Uh, 1.3 megabytes. And what else do I have to say? Thanks for watching my video.